Remember that time Jimmy Carter almost punched another world leader? It happened. Almost. In this corner, he's an 89-year-old peanut farmer turned U.S. president, Carter tells South Africa's Sunday Times during a visit to Cape Town in 2002, quote, I almost got into a fight with the president of South Africa, Thabo Mbeki, because he was refusing to let AIDS be treated. That's the closest I've come to getting into a fist fight with a head of state. And Becky is a good 18 years younger than Carter. He had rejected foreign grants to treat AIDS in his country, even denying the scientific validity of treatments for the disease. So the man who boasts his administration never started a conflict narrowly avoided launching his own attack on foreign soil, but only because he lacks the fiery temperament of the many prominent politicos who have turned disagreement into violent disarray. Like this from the Czech Republic. Or the brawl that broke out in Ukraine's parliament following a debate over a controversial minority languages bill. A similar scene played out in 2010 with the House Speaker taking cover from rotten eggs. Many of these fights, including a 2011 bout in Italy, are partly due to the worldwide financial crisis. The strain is starting to show among its politicians who've been at each other's throats quite literally. It's enough to make you appreciate the relatively civilized tone of political discourse in the U.S. Sort of. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs.